Hello, my name is Victor Sumilla, and I'm an electrical engineer here at MTI Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to create a compensation file using the Performa 300 ISA Wafer Characterization Tool. A compensation file is used to take into account gravity and the signature of the machine so that when you measure other similar wafers, it can be taken into account. So in order to start, we will place the wafer on the measurement stage. And then, we come over to the computer, log in as administrator using the password you set before, or if it's the first time you use the equipment, use the password wafer. The machine will ask you about the chuck size. In this particular case, we're using a 300 millimeter wafer. So we will use the largest 39 millimeter chuck setting. Go to the calibrate tab, and then click on representative wafer. Click on new file, and enter a short title. If you have any further comments to make, you can enter them in the comment section. Select the measurements you want to display everything on. In this case, I'm going to leave it a metric. Select the wafer size, the chuck size, and the data space. Six millimeters is a good number. For the loading angle, we recommend you use zero degrees. Click create. Now the machine is going to prompt you to load a wafer. I have already done so, so I'm going to click OK. And then we can click on the start button. The machine will now proceed to scan the top side of the wafer. This will take a good time. Now that the machine has completed one side of the wafer, since you want to take into account for bow and warp, we're going to flip it over and then hit the start button again. Now that the machine has completed the compensation file, we can use it in our resume. Take into account that this typically takes about an hour, and we summarize it for video purposes. If you have any further questions, please look for other videos on how to create recipes or contact us.